Hakeo listeners, let's learn sumo. I'm Clayton, welcome to the podcast where we learn the basics of sumo, the national sport of Japan. Last episode, we learnt the basics of what is sumo. Today, let's learn how sumo works in Japan. Don't forget to hit subscribe, join me at Insta or Twitter at Let's Learn Sumo, leave me a comment and I'll try and get back to you. As we learnt last time, the object of sumo is to force your opponent out of the ring. Make him touch the surface of the ring or the dohyo with any part of his body other than the soles of his feet. Simple, but there's much more. So sumo is the national sport of Japan. It's telecast live on television at the Grand Sumo Tournament held over a 15-day period every two months. That's six tournaments a year. The wrestlers also participate in regional practice tournaments at Jungyo, promoting sumo and trying to garner new uh, participants in the sport. They even held practice tournaments in other countries over the, over the years. The Grand Sumo Tournaments are open to professional ranks of sumo and they travel around the country to different cities on a defined schedule. So in January, May and September every year, the tournament happens in the capital city of Japan in Tokyo in the sumo stadium known as the Ryogoku Kokugikan Sumo Arena. Now this arena opened in 1985 and holds around 11,000 spectators, so it's pretty noisy in the big matches. The other tournaments are held in Osaka in March, Nagoya in July, and down south on the island of uh, Kyushu in Fukuoka in November. Now, if you're lucky enough to be in Japan at these times, you can buy a ticket and go to a day of sumo. It's a pretty amazing experience. I've done it a few times myself. Each sumo or rashiki competes in one bout per day over 15 days of the tournament. So they do 15 bouts in the top two divisions over the length of the entire tournament. The sumo in each division wins the most matches is declared the winner. So the sumo in the top division or Makuchi division compete for the ultimate prize of the tournament, the Emperor's Cup. Now it's only the top two divisions of Makanuchi or Makuchi and Jurio that compete for money and pay. Below these ranks are the new sumo battling to rise the ranks and they usually receive a small allowance as well as lodging and food as part of their stable. As well, they only do seven uh, bouts per tournament as different to the 15 bouts that the top two divisions uh, fight. Now, sumo is a bit of a zero-sum game. You either win or you lose, and that determines your rank. Depending on whether you win or lose also determines whether you go up and down in the next tournament. So over a 15-day tournament, Rashiki need at least 8 wins out of 15 bouts to have a kachikoshi, or a winning record. Any less, and you make a makekoshi, or a losing record, and you'll slip down that ranking and may even get demoted to the lower division. Now, if you get injured and you miss a few tournaments, you'll very quickly find yourself falling down the rankings to lower divisions where you have to fight your way up all over again. Now, during the tournament, lower ranks compete early in the day and our most senior sumo, the Yokozuna and Ozeki, they all fight at the end of each day's bouts. So that's it for this episode. Next time, we'll talk about the ranking system or the Bunzkei and how to watch sumo outside of Japan. Join me next time for Let's Learn Sumo. Hakuo, listeners.